Hey everybody, welcome to Make Movies Now. My name is Charles, I'm your host, and today we're going to learn how to do a quick multi-camera layover to make sure that your audio clips and your video clips are going to align when you got two different cameras or two different setups. If you're trying to talk to a camera here, you got audio here, and you're doing a screen record here, how to make sure they all work well together. <laughs> so, let's get into it. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17. I just got done shooting a clip a minute ago here. I just want to walk you through how I'm going to put the two clips together. So here we are on the cut page. I've got the screen that I just recorded on the computer here that had my audio recording that I used. And you can see at the very bottom here, this is the audio wave forms that we're going to use. And then up top, oops, audio wave forms at the bottom. Videos at the top, you can scroll through or scrub okay. through this pretty quick just to see kind of what we're doing. And what I did at the beginning of the clip is I did three claps. You can see these large um, lines here. And then I did another one over here just to help with this effect. So in the cut page, we're going to do I on the keyboard for an input. And then we're going to scroll over here for O for an output. And then we're going to put this on the back end of our timeline we've got today. So click here. If you want to double check, you can go to the edit page. So we've got this right here. Move this just a little bit. And then I've got the other clip I recorded of me from my camera. And you'll see I get the three bars here at the beginning for my claps. <laughs> and over here is another clap at the end. So just before we hit the I for in, we're going to scroll over here to where I want to change it. And O for the out. And then this time, again, in the ed in the cut page, instead of adding this clip to the back tail end of our timeline, we're going to add it on top of that, which you can do right here. So you're going to see this little spot placed on top. I'm going to make sure that my uh, red cursor is where I want it in the timeline at the beginning. Make sure the clip I'm going to add is highlighted here. We've got our input, our out point. And then you can hit click, place on top. You can see you got two timelines here. We're going to just make sure you got these two lined up. Go back over to the edit page here. And you can see I've got my video clip here and the screen recording got underneath. And then the two audio um, links, two audio waveforms right below it. I mess up along the way. So we're going to do a second one here. We're going to do I and then we're going to do O. We're going to scroll this all the way to the end and then we're going to throw the second piece right here at the end of our timeline. So we're going to hit this button here where it says append. Append? Yeah. Which will throw it on the first timeline at the end of that last clip. We're going to move this here just a little bit, put it here, get the other one. So there we go. So I got my two clips that should line up, hopefully, if I did it right. But if I didn't, here's the trick we're going to use. So again, this is how you can add two different videos, two different audios, two different sets to make sure they all line up using the waveform. So if these were not in line like this, you try to get them in line. If you get this echo going on, well, they're not quite there. So you can highlight both clips, right click on it, go to auto align clips, and then you're going to go here to the waveform. It's going to analyze these two clips based upon the audio, and then it's going to align those two up. So when I hit my clap, you're going to see that in both of these clips here. And DaVinci Resolve is able to match these two up. So there's no echo. And then now, since everything is lined up, I can tweak this a little bit, move it around. I can cut and paste. I go in and out, hit the D to disable. I know what's going on underneath. But that's a way you can have two different clips, two different audio, two different whatever sources to line up using that waveform, using the audio. I'll do it one more time on the second clip just so we can see it again. I've got my tutorial here. Click the D, the disable. I've got my underlying screen grab that I use on my computer. 
I've got the two audio clips here below. They are not in line because I didn't cut it right in the cut page, which is okay. So we're going to highlight both of these again, right click on it, go to auto align clips based upon the waveform. It's going to analyze these two in this big hit where I clapped. It's going to use that as a pretty good marker. And the rest of it's all going to line up because it's the exact same audio. And then now it is all lined up. So I hope it was helpful. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Make sure to tell me what else I can do, how I can help, questions, concerns that you have. Hit a like and like button below if you want to help out the channel so the YouTube algorithm can pick up the channel and show other people. Um, subscribe if you want to start more content and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload content, which isn't as often as I'd like, but we're going to change that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.